This is the DeWalt DCD709 Compact Hammer Drill Driver. This is part of DeWalt's Atomic Tool Range, which is a compact form of their normal brushless tools. Um, they're down in weight and they're also down slightly in power, but I suppose they've gone for functionality rather than pure brute force. The tool without the battery weighs one, just over 1.1 kgs. It has a clutch which ranges from 1 to 15 in its settings. The clutch is a little bit plasticky. I suppose they've gone for this uh, to save weight on the drill. There's also a drill only mode and a hammer drill mode. Just bear in mind that this tool doesn't have a handle for hammer drilling. It's got two speeds for drill mode. This drill retails for around about $100 US, which I think is pretty reasonably priced. Some of the things I like about this drill, I like the fact that it is a compact drill and I like that it's down on weight. I like the battery system on the DeWalt tools. I like this single uh, button on the front of the batteries to release the battery and to clip it in. I also like the fact that it's got an LED light on the base of the tool so that it shines up into the area that you're working on. The tool does have some kind of rubber bumpers around the edges. They seem to be put in the right places. So if you did drop this tool, there's a good chance that it's not going to crack. The variable speed trigger on the drill works really well and it's very sensitive. Some of the things that I don't like about this tool, I don't really like the chuck on the tool. It doesn't have any kind of name brand on it and it just feels a little bit cheaper. Also, I don't like the clutch. Um, it is pretty plasticky compared to some of the other tools that I've used. Settings go from 1 to 15. A lot of the other drills that I've got go to 22, uh, which is fine, but it just seems like it really clicks a lot when it's actually ratcheting, uh, when you're talking in a screw. Also, the dual speed button or the switch on the top of the drill, it's very difficult to switch between speed one and speed two. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're wanting to buy this tool, I'll leave a link in the description below. If you like the video, hit the like button and consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.